In few days, commercial motorcycles, popularly known as Okada, will no longer apply some restricted areas in Lagos State. This is not the first time the Lagos State government has placed a ban on the activities of Okada riders, but its implement implementation has not been effective. Our correspondent Ngozi Ohaichisi takes a look at the renewed order and its effectiveness. In Lagos, commercial motorcycles popularly called Okada is an important means of transportation for residents. The reason is not far-fetched. The heavy and frustrating gridlock experience on most routes across the states. Over time, there have been complaints by commuters about the reckless attitudes of some riders which has resulted in accidents leading to deaths and lifetime injuries. Some of these riders have been accused of aiding and abetting crimes due to their quick and easy movement, while some other disobey traffic lights. The Lagos state government in the past years has ruled out laws banning the right in some areas of the state. In 2006, under the Bola Tsunubu government, Okada riders were banned from operating between 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. every day. In 2012, the Lagos State Government under the Babatunde Fashola administration placed a total ban on Okada riders and the Keja axis of the state. Same thing in 2017 under the Akin Wumi Ambode administration. The state government announced ban on Okada activities on major highways, bridges and roads. And under the Baba Jide Songulu's administration in 2020, the government banned Okada from plying 40 bridges and flyovers across the state. The ban seems not to have been able to get commercial bikers off restricted areas. Recently, a young man and father of two was killed and set ablaze by an Okada rider over a disagreement. These made citizens take to social media to call for the total ban of Okada riders in the state. No more Okada! Residents of Lekki Face 1, where the incident occurred, staged a protest against Okada riding in the area. The government has called for the ban for the 1st of June, 2022. But we, the nation of Lekki Face 1, cannot risk the lives of all residents and all the Okada running free in our neighborhood. Do you know in this estate we used to take walks? We are a lot of people are sports enthusiasts. We go to jog, we go to exercise ourselves early morning, late in the evenings. And we visit ATMs, we visit banks, we visit all this. Do you know in the evenings you can't do any of this? Because you are scared. You are scared of your lives. So this Okada men has been, they've done a lot of harm. So it is high time the government really, really come out and partner with us and enforce this ban because ban government has actually banned them. This third ban you're hearing now is the second ban. It is two, double ban. In a recent order, the Lagos State renewed its ban on Okada business, which will take effect from the 1st of June. All of the is from the 1st of June. This is the first banning that we're going to get back in on so that others know that in a short while, it's either to get out or for something else to do. Days to the effective date of the ban, Commercial motorcyclists are having a field day in Aja area of the state. They can still allow them on their streets, but on the main road, they should ban them. They should just go. I don't want uh, Okada to be banned because they, are, they have helped a loss, actually. You know, in a situation whereby you want to go to a place and you need to be, to be fast, you just enter a bike and go to the place rather than enter more river because you have to wait till the team full before you can move. I don't think it should be banned because I actually use them for work in the morning when I go to work. 
and also in the afternoon, in the evening when I go for work, I use them. So if there is no bike, so what do I use as transport means? That's the fastest means of transportation for the citizen. Because once there is traffic and you have to get to work before eight, you have to try all possible means to meet up with the time. So they don't have to ban bike. I will advise the government, let them try and bring people who are educated, like from secondary, and employ them. They will be sensible. But when you bring Jagobon, Yoruba illiterate, Awusa illiterate, Yibo illiterate, they, they don't know anything. About the express, I can stay with that with government. But the road that remains without no express way, they can still apply. At least you have time and give them to be closing. They can still apply other way apart from the express. The riders appeal to the government to rethink the ban. All of us we see here now, and no one thief. Because this work where they see so, now they make to survive ourselves. First thing, because you come and say they don't want back again, that they affect all of, even a passenger where they enter back, then they affect them. Because of everybody where they see now, they get their own family to feed. Government no provide another alternative for us. Gather a day for this work where they see so. They don't see work to work. They don't see work for this country. But the thing where government is say to say about the issue say may provide another alternative for us before they ban us. What they want us to do now is they want to ban the Okada. I have family. I have two kids and wife. They can tell you. I'm feeding them with this work that I'm doing. Okay, well, okay, if they say they will ban the Okada now, which work they want to provide for us? Okada. Now I tell you to feed my family now. Somebody like me now, I have like four picking. Two girl, two boy. Now wait till I tell they pay them school fees. I don't get under work again. When you push me now, who should work out do again? I don't get work. I don't serve it. I don't serve it do anything. Only Okada now they do now. We see they apologize or we they beg the state government. Oh. I beg may they forgive us. Oh. Because we like this, some people they don't have any other thing doing in Lagos. Now the Okada they pay them. Some people have family and they sponsor their family with bike. So we don't have any time back. That's our only reason with us. So. Okada ban in Lagos State has lingered for years without effect. The coming days will expose the effectiveness or otherwise of the government's ban order on Okada businesses from restricted areas. Gazika, or HSC, plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.